Welcome to part two of the Jade Perch story. We're now camped on the Baku River. We're here to collect some new wild brood stock. And this is the natural home of Jade Perch. The scientific name for Jade Perch is Scorton Baku. And for a short time they were known as Baku Grunter. But the market name was changed to the now well established name of Jade Perch when three of the pioneer growers and myself met and decided to use the name Jade Perch. As you can see, this is a big body of water with a variety of habitats. The trick is to figure out where the fish are and what type of habitat and which capture methods will work the best. In these large water holes there are three main environments. Narrow areas with lots of snags and areas that aren't quite as narrow with much less snags and large open areas where there are hardly any snags. We worked our gill nets in each of these different environments. Remember the use of gill nets without a permit is a very serious offence. If you're caught, you can lose your vehicle, all your equipment, as well as a very large fine. As well as gill nets, we tried more traditional methods to catch the jade perch. We fished for them with rod and reel, using live prawns for bait. We also tried the live prawns on set lines. Set lines are heavy fishing lines tied to snags and branches that hang over the water. With all the different environments and all the different capture methods, we found that the gill nets were the most effective. The next part of the jade perch story you'll see is catching jade perch in gill nets 
and fishing for other varieties of fish with rods and reels.